guys, welcome to Horror Stuff. Uh, today I have a real treat for all the VHS fans. Uh, I myself am a real sucker for the VHS era and I love the box cover art that they made on all the movies, especially uh, horror and action movies uh, at that time. It was a lot of uh, great stuff that they made in the 80s and 90s. And actually I found this uh, book by Thomas Hodge that he compiled um, about all the great uh, VHS video cover arts that uh, they made. It's not everything, but it's uh, some of it. Um, and as I am a lover of uh, the artwork, I just had to get this book. And um, this book uh, is compiled of uh, mainly uh, B-movie stuff. So if you uh, love uh, or hate B-movies, you can uh, appreciate all the great art that they made and put in on the box covers. And uh, it's a great start. I can show you the outside of the book. Here you have the great uh, colors. Everything was uh, a lot of, co of about the uh, colors uh, of the cover art for the movies. It was just a splash of uh, colors and uh, really exciting themes that they had on all the movies. Uh, even if it was a terrible movie, you still wanted to uh, watch it because of the, the great cover art. Because the cover art was so exciting that the, it drawn, drew you in uh, to uh, get, uh, get or rent the movie. So um, here's the backside of the book. So uh, this guy, Thomas Hodge, uh, I don't know if there's a picture of him here. Uh, he is a uh, guy that uh, put together uh, a book uh, with all the great cover art from the B-movies from a lot of different artists and uh, I think this is really cool. Uh, I don't know if he made any of these himself or he just compiled it. Uh, but uh, it's really uh, enjoyable to uh, look through the book. And I'm going to show you a lot of cool stuff here. Um, if you like uh, really <laughs> great rip-offs of uh, uh, great movies, uh, you'll appreciate uh, themes like the American Commandos. <laughs> And as you can see, all everything is uh, made that you have the whole cover here from the original VHS movie. So there's everything that was on the cover as it is. So you have the front side and the back side and the running time length and the, all the info about the movie. And uh, yeah, it, it's really great to have it. It's, it's like to... Uh, uh, look through history here uh, about cover art for uh, VHS movies, and uh, I think it's awesome. Just, especially for a geek like me that loves the VHS era, I just love going in and into a video rental store and just watch uh, all the great movies that are were on the uh, uh, set up in the store. Um, let's see if I can find anything else that's really great here. Uh, here we have a great Chuck Norris movie ripoff, uh, The Cocaine Wars. <laughs> uh, if it were me, I think this is a real copy of the Missing in Action movie, uh, box cover art, if you have seen that with Chuck Norris. And then you have, uh, let's see here, uh, if you have seen the movie Cobra by Stallone, uh, what do you think about this? The Enforcer 2. <laughs> the man is back and you can, can really see that this is uh, 
supposed to look like Stallone, but it's not Stallone, and this is not a Stallone movie. This is just a B movie <laughs> that's called The Enforcer 2, and the box cover should be very much uh, copy. This is this is a uh, just a raw copy of the Cobra cover, in my opinion. But it's a, it's really fun that they did that. I don't know how, how they could do that, but uh, they did, and it's really funny, and uh, it's uh, all in this book, so uh, if you like ripoffs, this book is for you, and you have a Rambo ripoff here, The Intruder, <laughs> if this isn't the ripoff of First Blood 2, I don't know what is. There's uh, a couple of uh, great movies in this book too, especially the horror movies. Uh, this movie I watched when I was younger, Day of Time. It's the most hilarious uh, martial arts movie I've ever seen. Uh, everything in this movie is just funny. And, uh, uh, they, they didn't make it to be funny, they made it to be serious. but. It, it's really bad acting and bad uh, editing. You can see the mics from the uh, ceiling and stuff like that, and just uh, ridiculous comments from every guy in the movie. And uh, it's really fun to watch. So if you ever get your hands on this movie and get the chance to see it, just watch it. You're gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> uh, but uh, actually, I bought this uh, book because there is a lot of uh, horror movie cover arts. I love horror movies and I love the VHS era, so I just uh, had to get this book because of the horror box art from the VHS era. So uh, I'll show you some of the movies that are horror movies. Let's see here. Uh, this book contains of. Uh, uh, cover arts of uh, uh, almost every uh, genre. Uh, you have uh, action movies, you have thrillers, you have uh, kids movies, you have sci-fi movies, you have horror movies, uh, and you have comedies. Uh, so there's a little bit for everyone here. Uh, I will see if I can find the horror movies here. You have the horror movies. They start every genre we are instead of of a lot of movies this is like it was in the video rental store I think that is really cool <coughs> and uh, let's see if I can find a great cover art for known better known movies um, let's see here you have cellar dweller here I don't know if you have watched it. I have this one on uh, Blu ray, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, let's see if we have something cool now. Uh, oh, yeah. The Eagle Dead. This is awesome. I actually have this movie on VHS. So this is really great. So you have all the info here. Here you can see it better. So it was uh, 18 years uh, limit on this movie. You have to be 18 to see it. I guess a lot of seven-year-olds watched it anyway, like I did. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, let's see what we have uh, more. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of movies that I never even heard of, like The Imp. If you have heard of this movie or watched it, uh, I congratulate you because I haven't. <laughs> but it looks very funny. I love uh, monster movies and I uh, think they did uh, in that time with puppets and stuff like that. So uh, uh, I guess this movie is fun to watch. Um, let's see what we have more. Uh, <laughs> and 
and stuff like this. The mutant kid. <laughs> this is just awesome uh, cover art. You don't find this on uh, very many movies in today's horror movies. Uh, they really put a lot of time and effort into making the cover art uh, striking and funny and uh, exciting at the same time. Uh, so that's why I got drawn into the horror genre. You have Night of the Creeps. That's awesome. And uh, let's see what we have else here. Uh, Raiders of the Living Dead. I've never heard of that one. It's not Night of the Living Dead, it's Raiders of the Living Dead. Uh, here you have the Return of the Living Dead. Awesome movie. have slugs. I have this one on Blu-ray too. I haven't watched it yet, but I think this is awesome. Uh, you have Slaughterhouse. By the way, this is a deeply uh, heavy book. And uh, there's a lot of there's I think there's 250 pages in this one. So that's a lot a lot of box art to uh, go through. Let's see if there's anything else which I can show you. The stuff. I have this one on Blu-ray too. Uh, awesome movie. If you haven't seen it. They drink the Kool-Aid and they get really trashed. <laughs> uh, undead. <laughs> Drinking. The video is dead. I have this one too. I actually haven't seen it yet, but uh, this is also a cover art that I really think is exciting and I want to watch the movie just because of the cover art. Just a, a monster coming out from the TV makes me want to see the movie. But that's just me. So, yeah, that's. Uh, what you can find in this book. Let me show you something else. Oh, here's a David Carradine movie on the line. I haven't watched this one. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's see if we can find any. anything else I can show you that is funny. Oh, sci fi section. Let's see. Anything funny? Uh, I don't know what this movie is about. I can read it, but on the cover art here. But I have never heard of this one. It just sounds very funny. Remote control. <laughs> but if you look at the cover art, this is just an exciting cover art. It just, it just draws you in. You you want to find out more about this movie, even if it's just a terrible movie that you don't like. I, I can see myself standing in the video store and just watching on this cover from the front and just uh, thinking to myself, I have to see this movie. Remote control. It has nothing to do with my remote control for the TV, but I need to see it. <laughs> so, that's it. Uh, I think they have a little bit about the uh, video stores too. Let's see here. And all you people that have never seen a VHS tape before, here's a picture of a VHS tape. And uh, if you didn't rewind the movie, you had to pay uh, a penalty. Uh, so um, you didn't forget to rewind it because that would cost extra. So. And uh, yeah, here's a lot of info on uh, 
the video stores and how they uh, displayed all the movies and stuff like that. So, I can really recommend this movie. If you're a VHS geek like me and you like uh, cool box cover art, uh, please check out this movie. It's called v VHS Video Cover Art by Thomas Hodge. 250 pages of uh, great covers. Uh, and I don't think you will be disappointed. But it's mostly B movies. Uh, you won't find, uh, you hardly find any A movies in this book. But the B movies are so much more fun to uh, look through because they had the hilarious uh, titles and uh, the great cover art. So, um, yeah, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.